Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the hive on a Tuesday. It is August 9th and I have a quick and easy tip Tuesday for you. And then we're going to go over the scavenger hunt from the mini catalog. Um, I got them all graded last night and I have a winner. I believe I have a winner. <laughs> so um, that'll be fun. So I I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right spot and I don't see anybody popped in. Um, it's a little bit before five, you guys. So I've got a window here before Tyler gets home from work. Um, yes, Amy Dashler, I have hotel rooms left. I just saw you <laughs> just popped in here. Um, yeah, so you guys, you know what today was? It's the day that we can sign up for on stage to go to one of the locations either in the world or in the United States. And um, I have a whole group, hi Lizzie uh, from the UK. I have a whole group of, of gals going down to Indianapolis. Um, my, I, I booked a bus, you guys. Hi, Karen Wetstein. Um, I booked a bus and um, there's 55 of us that are gonna be on this amazing bus going down to Indy. And then we, in addition, have some gals meeting us down in Indy to be in the hotel room with us, or not the hotel room, the hotel. That would be a lot of people in the hotel room. Hi, Randy. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Debbie. Uh, so it is going to be an amazing and epic adventure, uh, to say the least. <laughs> so today was the day that we could register for on stage. Hi, Vicki Tillett. Hi, Barb Johnson. Um, just in case there's anybody from the Fox Valley area, um, Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac. Hi, Linda Hodge. Hi, Lorna. Hi, Barb. Um, even Milwaukee, Northern Milwaukee. Um, hi, Deb Norman. Um, I have about 10 spots left on the bus. Hi, Deborah. And so I'm looking to, to fill it. I had based all my pricing on a full bus. <laughs> so um, I have, I think, 10 spots to fill yet. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Marsha Long. So in case anybody wants to go along with us on the bus ride, I'm opening it up now to my community of stampers um, that maybe I haven't met you. Um, you're not on my team. You're not on my uplines team. You're not on a couple of sidelines teams, but I'm opening it up now because I really want to get the bus full. So, um, hi Pamela. Where, where are you going? We're going to Indianapolis. So, <laughs> um, hi Donna Simmer. Um, yeah, we're going to Indianapolis. I know Pittsburgh is going to be amazing too. Hi Kathy Larson. Kathy Larson's going with us. Karen Wetstein's going with us. We've got a bunch of people that watch us. Hi Carla Lake. Um, but, um, in case you're not on my team, my uplines team, or I've got like Renee Conkey, um, it has some gals from Oshkosh that are going. I'm going to reach out to a couple people from the Green Bay area to see if they want to go. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Hi, Marilyn. So, again, I'm looking to fill the bus. <laughs> Hi, Chris Sudarenki. So your tip Tuesday for today, you guys, is no fuss, fussy cutting. Um, Anna shared this with me the other day, and I thought, oh, I should share this with you guys. So thank you to Anna for the idea and inspiration for this one. Um, she did see it from a fellow uh, demonstrator. Um, let me see if I can peg who it was really quick. Okay, a Mary Knob. So got to give her credit. That's where Anna said that she had seen it. So it's not my idea, you guys, not at all. But I thought I might as well share it with you <laughs> because I thought it was a good idea. Hi, Lisa Spacek. So if you don't have the dies, you don't have the um, punch, but you have a stamp that you want to cut out and you're not a big trim it right around it and leave that little baby margin um, for fussy cutting. They have something, it's called no, no fuss fussy cutting. <laughs> and so I have this new stamp set, so I'll flip down. I have this brand new stamp set, you guys, I haven't even put it together yet. Hi, Julie Frost. So I thought while I'm doing this, I'm gonna share with you, <laughs> I stamped with Diane's today. Um, so that's why I have a sample here. But you guys, I've done so many Tip Tuesdays. We've been doing Tip Tuesday for over two years now. If I have to say, we started in September of two years ago. Hi, Linda Hunt. And there is almost every Tip Tuesday that you could think of we've done, we've done it. So we've talked about, you know, how to put your stamps together. We've talked about how to re-ink your ink pads. We've talked about, oh, oh goodness gracious, so many things. But um, we talked about how to put your stamps together. So I just thought I'd share with you, like, okay, let's put this stamp together. So I generally, they've changed the stamps through the years. So I generally just peel these off. So the tip wasn't really about putting stamps together. Hi, Lisa Nealon. Um, basically, um, <laughs> um, it's just, I line it up like this and then set it down into it. And there I've got it ready to go to put on my block. That's kind of like how I put my stamps together. You guys, 20 years ago when I started stamping, 
you had to cut your stamps all out. You had to cut the stickers and it was a pain in the butt. So let's say I've stamped this onto my cardstock. What you can do is you take the outline. So this doesn't work if you don't save the outlines. I don't save any of these outer perimeters. I generally save my this sheet and I put my stamps on that sheet. So if you don't save this, it doesn't work so well. And uh, um, so there's no fuss, fussy cutting is you take this as an outline, right? Because there's about a, the same margin all the way around. And what you would do is just line this up. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, do you know how many stamps I had that were not um, that were not put together because you had to cut them and assemble them? That was truly a pain in my Botox. Um, so <laughs> they changed, I would have to say, at least maybe 10 to 15 years ago. So um, it was a pain, I know. It was such a pain to cut them. So basically what I did is I just drew an outline around my shape here that I want to cut out. And then what I would do is just cut on the inside of that pencil mark and it creates a little bit bigger of a border than if you would truly fussy cut. So it just gives you another option in case you don't like to get all up in the stamps details and cut it really close to the edge. And because you have a pencil line there, you have the ability to follow that versus guessing. So um, just a little tip for you guys in case you don't have the dies to go with it. Um, that would be if you keep if you keep this outline, okay? Now, if you don't keep the outline, then this isn't gonna work so well, right? Um, the other thing, like if you do have this, I guess you could take the stamp and you could have put your stamp right over the top of your kind of guessing where it is and then trace around it, but that's where this outline looks really good. Oh, I forgot to turn off my huh, sound. Hi, Barb Barco. So there's your tip Tuesday, you guys. Um, no fuss, fussy cutting. That's basically what I've got for you for tip Tuesday. And there you guys got to see me putting a stamp together. Um, <laughs> uh, Diane and I are working on designing for this class right now. Apple Harvest is the Let's Just Stamp in October. And um, <laughs> um, yeah, we're working. Have We just got the Rings of Nature done, and I'll share those with you in a bit. Um, here's a little happy mail. I, I set this here in case uh, I, so I won't forget. Look at that beautiful gem in the middle of that butterfly. This is from Shirley Malarkey. Um, I got your card, Shirley. I, I think I told you that. And um, I already read your note, so I think I, I had understood that you, sorry, I didn't mean to like rumple that up in front of everybody, but I already had read it. So um, I keep Shirley up to date <laughs> with classes. Uh, Shirley is uh, one of my gals that I tell her all the classes for the month and what it is, and then it's just not signing up one by one. It's just like a lump, yup, here it is. <laughs> We're getting all the classes for the month. So I got your beautiful card, Shirley. I love the sunflower. Very, very pretty. All right, so what we're gonna work on today um, are the scavenger hunts, you guys. So I have here everybody's scavenger hunts, plus I did my own and I bamboozled myself. Oh my goodness, I got myself on question number 16. Thank goodness for Debbie Schultz. <laughs> Debbie Schultz, I think you're watching. You had a list of them all. And I'm like, how did she get 11? And I'm like, oh, there's 11. There really are. And so uh, I needed you to help me with that because I had only come up with eight, I think. Hi, Hildy. So, all right, you guys, we're going to go through the scavenger hunt. So th for those of you that are new to me that you don't know what a scavenger hunt is, with every new catalog, I put together a list of questions, and it's never meant to cause anybody harm or pain or suffering or crying. None of that should ever happen in stamping. Thanks for sharing, Marilyn. I appreciate it. Oh, Lisa said she uses the peel-off as a mask. That is a great idea, too. Good. Good tip, Lisa. Um, this is meant for you guys to look through the catalog, get familiar with it, because, you know, you can look through that catalog, um, you can look through that catalog, and you're like, gosh, 10 times you look through it, and then the 11th time you see something new, right? That has happened to me from the very beginning of my existence with Stampin' Up! <laughs> catalogs. And so this was put together to help you look through the catalog and see things. And you just saw Debbie Schultz commented that she goes, she went page by page to find that answer. And I'm like, 
wow, I was trying to go off a of memory, but going page by page, and some people put that they didn't know because they didn't have previous year's catalog. Well, you don't need that. Um, so, so Marsha Long, the, the scavenger hunt is just a fun thing for people to do to get them familiar with the catalog. I'm going to go through the answers. Um, so all these people submitted their scavenger hunts, hunts to me, and thank goodness for everybody sending me them like in this format. That really helped. They mailed them to me. They emailed them today to me. It kept it concise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the answers right now, and then I'm going to announce who the winner is. And this scavenger hunt went in relation to the mini catalog that just launched and also the celebration. And so the, to, with that being said, I guess number one was a tricky question because like the, the name of the scavenger hunt is holiday, but throughout here, I do uh, talk about celebration. So thanks for sharing, Deb Norman. I should have put in here, so it says how many new packs of designer series paper were introduced, which one do you like the best? I didn't clarify if it was between the mini or if it was between both catalogs. So I took both answers if they, hi, Catherine Healy, if they were either of these numbers. And so designer series paper, you guys, does not, to me, include foils, vellum, acetate, um, glitter paper. It's designer series paper. So anything with foils or you know that kind of stuff, I really didn't count it. Um, if it says specialty paper, oh, there goes my dinger linger. So um, this one I was on the fence about. Oh, you guys are going to hear that because now that the volume's on, um, I was on the fence about this one. So, because me, to me, designer series paper is also double sided. Um, and so, if you look at the back of the book, it might throw you off because it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But this right here, this one, number, this last one that I counted, it says festive foils specialty. It is not designer series paper. To me, it's a, fo a foils paper. And it's kind of like, to me, oh gosh, I don't know if I hope that doesn't keep going off. It, it's kind of in the same boat as the silver and gold, but they called this one designer series paper. So the thing is on both of these, they're white on the opposite side. They're not double-sided. So I don't mean for these questions to be super duper tricky. Um, I don't know why they put this festive foils paper over here and not in with the specialty paper because it's not like designer series paper where you get like um, a bunch of sheets that like, so there's two sheets that are the same and six of them to make 12. So, you know, so this one, I did not count it. Definitely did not count it. So, um, hi, Deb Macier. Hi, Jean Maxwell. So the other trick part of this question was I highlighted it in bold that says new, how many new packs of designer series paper were introduced and um, new meaning not carrying over from a previous catalog. And it doesn't say it here. Hi, hi Joy Rent. Um, it doesn't say it here, but if you go to page 29 where the painted Christmas is on, this is where Debbie <laughs> went through page by page and she went and looked and found where it says, right here's your code. It says returning fave. And I know you guys can't probably see that in the camera, but if you have your catalogs, you could go to page 29. It says returning favorite. So this painted Christmas designer series paper carried over from last holiday catalog. So it's not new, it's returning. And so that would not count for a designer series paper being new. So it's like you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I came up with 10 in the mini catalog. And then in the celebration catalog, um, so it's trickery, right? So this one would definitely count, the rings of love. And the this paper would definitely count, wonderful world. I guess I'm so torn on the fence about this guy because this is foil. It's single-sided. It's specialty paper. And I honestly feel like even though they call it designer series paper, it's not really. It's a uh, it's specialty foil paper. So I guess I thought two is what I had in my head. Um, so if people had ten or two, and even if they had a third one for celebration, I gave it to them. So um, 
but if people had 14, some people had 18, there was a across the board different um, ones. But I could tell like um, if somebody had tw um, 11 for the mini, I knew for sure that um, that they had too many because they probably counted this or counted that. So, so there you go. That's so the, the 10, 12, or 13 is basically what I gave for credit. Um, so the next one is, what is the name of the new kit that will help keep your projects clean, workplace tidy, and hands at a safe distance while heat embossing? So there's this little kit here called the Embossing Additions Toolkit. Um, that's what threw me off. So you went with the description of the product. So nope, Debbie. <laughs> See, I wouldn't go with the description of the product. So that's exactly why I was like, why did they put, and that was the first question I had when I was talking to other demonstrators, I was like, why would they put the festive foil specialty paper underneath the category of designer series paper? It isn't that way. So yeah, so you don't, you know, go with your instinct of, well, that's not designer series paper, that's foil paper. So, you know, and again, this isn't meant to like throw people off or cause any aggravation or harm between you, <laughs> like with like me and you, what you guys think are the right answer. This is supposed to be fun. And I will say that the winner won by more than three points. So even if you might have gotten it wrong and won, there was other things that were off too. So in general, people. So um, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Everybody got this one right. Number two was the Embossing Editions Toolkit, page 49. And you guys, if you go to that page 49, I actually took the wording word for word. It says it right here. Keep projects clean, workplace tidy, and hands at a safe distance while heat embossing. Maybe one person didn't get that, but I think overall almost everybody got that one right. Um, how many different celebration items can you choose from um, with a $50 or $100 order? And what is your favorite? And you really had to say, what is your favorite? If you didn't answer, what is your favorite? I always like to know what people like. It gives me an idea of, oh, you know, if you like it, then maybe like I make sure to include that kind of stuff if I see a pattern in upcoming classes. So there are six things at $50. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So even though, you guys, the scavenger hunt was published back in June, right? So in June, these were available, everything, you know, it was based off of what was available or like what was in the catalog. So that was six. And at $100, there's one, two, three. So it was, if people could answer nine or they, a lot of people broke it up, $50, six items, $100, three items. And what's your favorite item? My favorite item in this book are the tree lot dies, which are sadly out of stock and not coming back. I don't, in case anybody missed that memo, um, they're gone and they get these overseas. And so they are not going to get more in time uh, for replenishment. So they turned off the item and it's gone. So Tree lot dies were my favorite. Um, a lot of people liked the Wonderful World. Um, a lot of yeah, Wonderful World. A lot of people were picking the Wonderful World, um, and the silver and gold foil paper. Those were some big ones. Okay, how many new suites are featured in the holiday catalog, and which one are you most excited for? This is an easy question because you can always come to the table of contents, and they list out the product suites, and there's eight of them. So half of the answer is eight. And the other half is, what are you most excited for? Um, I think, I know that Carolee Crab will laugh if I say this, but I honestly would have to say the Bows of Holly. Um, as much as she probably hates that set because she was my display stamper for the Creative Escape, I think I would say Bows of Holly. There's something I love about Cherry Cobbler Mossy Meadow. Um, and that's what I like. Hi, Anna Rebidoux. Okay, what are the four percentage levels of stamp rewards that you can earn by being a hostess with the mostess? Go to the back of the book. You can always find that information here. It says hostess levels are 10, 12, 14, and 16. And then what is the extra gift you get for being a hostess during celebration? Um, it's a gift for being the hostess during celebration. So it's not these two things. These are not extra during celebration. These are extra all catalog long. So you need to go to the celebration book and it talks about hosting here. Reward yourself. And you get with a $300 workshop. Um, and that could be a workshop with friends. It could be a workshop all by your lonesome. Um, you get the perfect pomegranate stamp set. So that was what I was looking for here was perfect pomegranate. 
most people got that, but I did trip up a couple people because they put these two things and that wasn't correct. Um, those are what you get for extra during choices for during um, the whole mini catalog. Stampin' Up! wants to make a difference in the lives of those we care about. What is the name of the product where you can purchase it and Stampin' Up! will donate $3 to support organizations working to end food insecurity? So, it says it right here. Food scarcity is, a real, is an issue facing communities around the globe. We aim to make a difference and we'll help and we hope you'll join us. For each Nourish and Flourish kit you purchase, we will donate $3 to support organizations working to end food insecurity. So that's it. So the answer for that one, you guys, was Nourish and the Flourish. So um, I do have it here, um, right here, within arm's reach, at reach, actually. So it's actually got this little lunch box, and it has an insulator on the inside, like this insulating, whatever that material is called, and then you get the kit on the inside, and it makes nine cards. And there are no stamps with it, so everything is already pre-printed, so you don't need a stamp, you just assemble. So that's the Nourish and the Flourish. Oh, well, as long as I'm at it, you guys, <laughs> this is that heat embossed toolkit. So it's got this tweezers, a little embossing buddy, a little brush, and then the tray for to help you with your embossing needs. Well, that was nice. <laughs> they were sitting right next to me. Okay. Accents and embellishments. How many new ones were introduced to add texture, sparkle, and bling to your projects? The easiest way to find that is going back here to get you started. So the main thing, though, is it says new, not re um, returning favorite. So that's where you got to maybe do a little homework of looking through the book um, uh, and figure out what's returning favorites. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there were people that said fourteen, and that would be incorrect because some of them are returning favorites. And without knowing for sure, you'd have to go look at these items individually. So the wonderful snowflakes are returning favorites from last year along with the gold holly leaves. Hi, Deanna Stell. So the gold holly leaves and these. So that would bring it down to 12 because you would take those two things out. Now here's the kicker, and I think Jean Maxwell pointed this out. <laughs> and so it says how many new ones were introduced. So when you look at the pearlized enamel effects and you look at the glitter washi tape, uh, you could look at them that they're individual things, but they're offered as a, like a combo. So, and in the past, I've counted things like that separately. So I guess I accepted two answers. I guess I took, if you, you counted these as four new items, like the washi tape, there's four rolls of washi tape, right? Because I do that with the ribbon all the time and the embossing folders. So there are four rolls of washi tape, hi Teresa Carls, and there are three bottles of the pearlized enamel effects. Bottles. So if you go with 12 as the low end answer, as the low answer, or you would do 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And so I think it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have that wrong in here. So it'd be 12 or 17. So a lot of people did realize that the snowflakes and the gold holly leaves were returning favorites. And you would know that. Hi, Cynthia Watasek from West Virginia. Um, if you go to page 45, for example, and you look at the snowflakes where it has them, it always calls out returning fave. Right, so then you would know that that was a carryover product from a, a previous catalog. And then the other one was the gold holly leaves on page 21. Same thing. I can't believe I'm actually live with Christine Bertram. Woohoo, Cindy. You are. You caught me. We're doing the scavenger hunt. Da -da -da. Gold holly leaves, returning fave. Okay, so. I, you know, a lot of people did have 12 because I think they caught that those two things were carryovers. Um, but I did have a lot of people put 14. 14 would have been wrong. If you had the 17, that could be right. Um, but anywhere in the middle too, like if you had 15 or four, um, 13, if you had 
16, it wouldn't be right. So hopefully that makes sense. So um, 12 or 17. Um, what do you all get in your standard starter kit during celebration? So there was two main answers I'm looking for. And if you go here, this talks about the starter kit in the, um, the little celebration. It says, choose your starter kit for $99. Um, you get, so there's two answers. I wanted both. If you only answered one, I gave you half point. If you had both, you got the whole point. Um, oh, I'm glad you love the demo, Cindy. That's awesome. Okay. So you would get here. They'll throw in, so here it says starter kit by selecting $125 worth of product. So that's one answer. The second answer is making plans collection. I know a lot of people threw in, um, you get free shipping, you get a free paper pumpkin, you get the business supply pack. Um, so there's other things that you get with it, but the main two answers I was looking for were the making pan, plans collection and $125 worth of products um, for $99. You don't even have to have the 99, just I knew that it was right if you had $125 worth of products. So, so that's the two answers I was looking for for that one. So here's the, the question here too, uh, it talks about new. So I circle new. Uh, how many new rolls of ribbon, twine, trim were introduced in the mini catalog? So let's flip back this way. So this is where I am tricky with this because how many rolls? Hi, Doral. <laughs> I'm glad this is fun, yay. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is what is showing here, but this gold one is a carryover from the holiday mini catalog from last year. So nine minus this one is eight. So the right answer for this is eight, and that's because this one is a combo pack. It has two rolls in it. So, you know, that's why I was a little bit forgiving more on the accents and embellishments one. So if you go to the gold one here on page 61, you can see it says returning fave. So yay. Okay. So next it says, oh my glitter, velvet, vellum, and foil papers to make your cards oh so pretty. How many different packs of these are offered in the holiday and celebration catalogs? So um, we have here, this foil one would be one because that is not <laughs> designer series paper. Card stock doesn't count. It's not anything special. It's just the only thing special about the black is it's 12 by 12. Okay, so you got one on the back side, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so there's six in the mini, and now this is where I would come back and I would personally add this gold one and the silver one here, the silver and gold. It's foil paper. I would definitely count that as a specialty paper because it's white on the other side. It's not designer series paper. It has, you know, it's specialty. Um, so I really went with seven for this one, um, and I think what threw people off is, um, oh, Oh, and here's the thing. Da, da, da. It doesn't say anything about new. So this snowy white is actually a returning favorite. But in this specific question, I, <laughs> you guys, I really don't intend to be like tricky like this, but I didn't put the word new in here. All I put in is how many different packs of these are offered in the holiday and celebration catalogs. I didn't specify new or not. So hi, Ethel King. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> do you know you receive a 10% discount when ordering a bundle? How many bundles are offered in the holiday catalog? This is kind of easy. If you go to the section right here and you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 31. Okay, I went with 31. So it does say new bundles, and I believe all 31 of them are new. There was no such thing as a carryover bundle. There were carryover dies, there were carryover punches, there were carryover stamps, but not a carryover bundle. So 31 was the magic answer there. I'm dreaming of a beach somewhere warm with palm trees in my view. What is the name of the stamps that you can use to make a card and what page can you find it on? I think almost everybody, but maybe one person has the right answer here. Um, 
This set is right here on page 69. So you had to have the page and the name. It's called Sun Kissed. All right. I'm not so certain I'm going to buy this set. <laughs> I'm on the fence. But I know if I live down in Florida or somewhere warm with palm trees, I would definitely be making my holiday cards with this set <laughs> um, or making birthday cards with it. But I am not a fan of lots of little coloring with um, very detailed stamps like this. I um, I don't consider myself a great like artist per se with the shading and the coloring. <laughs> so I would get this set and I'd probably love to look at it, but I don't know if I'd ever use it. Just me being 110% honest, but I do love looking at it because it makes me feel like I am down in Florida. All right, what are the names of the exclusive hose products that were introduced in the holiday catalog and what page can they be found on? So they are on the spread right here, way at the very last page of the catalog. Um, they're called Caroling Mice on page 86 and Celebrate Everything 12 by 12 Paper on page 87. So that's what I've got for that. Oh, we'll come back to the snowflakes, you guys. Um, how many new embossing folders were introduced in the holiday? Now, this one tricked me as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys, I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, so if you look here on page 81, there's Whimsical Woodland. There's the tr Leaf Fall, and there's Charming Landscape. But Charming Landscape has two folders in it, just like what happens with our ribbon here. There's a combo pack that gives us two. This is a combo pack that gives us two. So you would, on the surface, think four, right? But I so soon forgot until I started grading it. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's an embossing folder with the hybrid here which was the tree rings embossing folder. Okay, so that's a new one. And that's the trick here. It's new. Okay, so tree rings. And hi, Mary Jean. The thing is, though, there's also another hybrid in here with the merriest moments. Um, where are we? Merry moments. What are they called? Merriest moments hybrid. It's right here. So there is, because some people list it out. Hi, Deb Ryan. Some people listed it out. And so there is an embossing folder here. So all in all, there's actually six embossing folders in the catalog, but one of them is a carryover. So that makes the answer for this one five. So tree rings, charming has two, whimsical has one, and then the fall leaves. So all right, this one got me. Number 16, how many items in the holiday mini catalog are returning favorites from last year? And I came up with eight. And then I'm like, Anna, how did you get nine? And she told me. And then I'm like, well, how does Debbie Schultz have 11? And then I remember Debbie Schultz gave me the list. And so I went back and I found the list. And by golly gosh, you guys, there are 11. And she said she went page by page. And she sure as heck did because it only says it when you're actually looking at the actual item. So look at this, you guys. Who would have thunk it, but this puff paint, I remember from two or three years ago, this puff paint was around. It wasn't carryover from last year. It was a carryover from the year before. And it says here, returning fave. Holy Moses, right? So that one was a carryover. And I would never have thought it, but the so I was pretty good about hi Betty Pile. I was pretty good about what carried over from the last holiday catalog, but that if you go to the rustic stamp set here, rustic, this rustic suite, I would never have remembered this, but sure enough, the basic black 12 by 12 is a returning favorite. <laughs> so, boom, there's two things. So, I had come up with eight, I even missed. Oh, I had forgotten. The white here, the velvet, snowy white velvet sheets were carryover. So that's three. The gold holly leaves are four. The wonderful accents are five. Hi, Vicki Sloan. The merriest frames are six. The stamps that go with it are seven. The penguin stamp set would be eight. The punch would be nine. And... The painted Christmas paper makes 10. And the gold ribbon here makes 11. So if you go find those 11 things in the catalog, they will all say 
they will all say returning fave. So I think Debbie Schultz, um, if I am not mistaken, you, you said here, list on the back, I had your list. Thank goodness you gave me that list. I honestly think you were the only one out of every, oh, nope, I take it back. Corinne Bouvia, you had 11. I think you two were the only, maybe the only two. Um, I'm looking to see if Karen Westein had 10 or 11. Karen Westein, you had it right too. You had 11 as well. But wow, out of like 20 of these forms, I think that three people, I, I even stumped myself. I would have got that wrong if I would have done this by myself. <laughs> oh, wow, you're right. Oh my gosh, Deb Norman, you just totally called me out. You're right. It says from last year. Sneaky, sneaky. You're right. Okay. So you, I even read that out loud. So that would be right. Okay. So then that means the black 12 by 12 isn't right. And the puff paint isn't right. Then it makes it nine. Okay. So Debbie Schultz, you really were good at finding all them. So Deb, Deb Norman, you are so correct. Thank you for saying that. I'm so happy you did. Because it does say that. <laughs> it did say last year. So that means that the puff paint and the black aren't there. So that means that Karen, you're down the one. And let me just see here. Oh, <laughs> that changes the winner. Oh, man, it does because my first and second place had them switched. My And then there was, after first and second, um, it went down by a point and a half. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm trying not to show you who it is because then that would be right. It would be nine and that would be wrong. Let me just count real quick. I know we're not done, but I'm thinking, I want to just make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and a half. So Karen, oh my goodness, you might be bumped out of first place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, by a half a point. Oh my goodness. Okay. That changed first and second place in Deb Norman. Um, that would be true. You would be need last year's catalog to compare. And that's where it comes into um, either remembering that or not. And I guess <laughs> that's a very valid point because somebody did write that on here. She would need last year's catalog to compare. And, you know, that is a good point. Um, well, then Anna must have known that from last year that they weren't carryover. Because Anna, I think, she was the one I asked last night. She's like, well, she looked in last year's catalog to compare as well. So that's just, I guess, knowing a little inner insider information and keeping your catalog. So, But good point. Yeah, you would need to know, have last year's catalog to compare. But Debbie Schultz, if I'm not mistaken, you had last year's catalog. I think... Um, I'm guessing you probably would have because you would have gotten it from Stampin' Up! when you were a demonstrator, I'm thinking. So, yeah. So that was, you guys, that was even tricky for me. Okay, so number 17. How many new punches were introduced in the new catalog? So that's one where you can go back up here. And we talked about the Penguin Builder being a carryover from last year. So one, two, three, four. I think a lot of people got that one right. A lot of people also got this last one right. Um, it says, we're cute little packages that can be used to put treats in to bring smiles to your friends and family's faces. So the plural here is what makes sure that um, packages, we're cute little packages. So if you look at here under packaging, there's two of them listed here. Um, envelope treat boxes and the stars treat bags. And so you had to have both because literally they were next to each other in the catalog here. And they are both cute little packages that can be used to put treats in to bring smiles to people's faces. So um, you had to have envelope treat boxes and stars treat bags. And um, if you had one, you got half. If you had both, you got both points. All right, so this one is the last question before the tiebreaker. Um, my Prince Charming is in the catalog, but he has a spell on him. What is the name of the stamps that he's hiding in? Oh my goodness, you guys. I think I think maybe only three out of everybody didn't get it, but everybody else got this set. So I'm going to make sure that, the, so that's why I definitely went with this answer. Like Prince Charming, what do you think of you guys? You think of frogs, right? <laughs> so 
you got to find the frog in the catalog and it is in best witches and um best witches was the answer for that so um <laughs> i think there there was only a couple other suggestions for what the people thought it could be and um snowman magic i think who had that so michelle philly you had snowman magic and i don't remember i didn't even look but i didn't think there was um, so Linda, you just asked about the punch from the bundle and that would be the very best trio punch. I think that is the bundle punch you're thinking. If I'm not mistaken, hang on. Or is that back here? Yeah, that's right here. So very best occasions. This one, this punch is the exact same punch right here. It says very best trio, very best trio. So yes, you're correct. It is, um, a bundle but I counted it back here because it was listed back here with the punches. So it's really weird because when they have the bundles here, they never used to put the punch bundles in with this and now they started to. Um, so the dies are not shown separately. Like they called out this punch, but they, they called it out separately, but they don't call it the dies all separately. So they call it the dies separately he, like here. So yes. Um, hi, Cindy Bassett, better late than ever. So snowman magic though, is what I think Philly had and snowman magic. I want to see real quick if there was a frog in there. Um, page 44. I don't think there was a frog, but I guess it doesn't hurt to double check just to make sure. Um, 44. There's a bunny, no frog. So really going for the frog. Um, all right, tiebreaker question. In the all bundled up stamp set on page 45, you would what would you name this clan of critters? So I'll read through because you guys like to hear the answers. Um, the moose would be, okay, so let's just go to the page real quick, 45, so you guys can see what we're talking about in case you don't have the catalog in front of you. There's this clan of critters here, okay? Yeah, that's a bunny dub, exactly. So we got a raccoon, a bunny, and that, the moose. And so the moose would be, Bullwinkle, the rabbit would be Bugsy, and the raccoon would be Ricky. Um, the next one, um, the, they would call them Best Buds. Uh, the next person said the bird would be Bethy, the moose would be Marie, the Sir Frederick Rabbit, and Constable Rocky Raccoon. <laughs> um, Mary Moose, Bashful Bunny, Rascally Rabbit, and Tweety Bird. Winter Woodland Buddies, Cool Friends, uh, Candy Cardinal, Mary Moose, Buddy Bunny, Rowdy Raccoon, <laughs> um, Sweet Songbird, Bull Moose, and Happy Rabbit, ha Harry the Rabbit, Tweety the Bird, Mary the Moose, and Happy the Raccoon, Cool and the Gang. I love it. <laughs> Who's that? Philly. Cool and the Gang, like the song, you know, the artist. Um, uh, do, do, do. Richie the Raccoon, Brandon the bunny and Wike wink at the muse, moose. I can't read this. Oh my gosh, whose is this? Karma Melinda's. I can't read your um the moose. Mike the moose maybe. Mike the moose. Okay. Oh, it's Mike the moose. Okay. Um, welcoming group. Um, Bullwinkle, Rocky Thumper, Holiday Hello, Cool Wildlife Gang, Fun Fellows. The Youper Gang from the Youp, Youpie. I bet that's Judy Bobo. Ha <laughs> ha, yes it was. Ratty the Raccoon, Buttercup the Moose, Thumper the Rabbit, Woodland Friends, Charmers and Make You Happy, Morris, Ricky, Peter, and last but not least, Winter Friends. Okay, so those were um, the, the answers. So I guess what I'll do is I'm gonna go through again and I'm gonna tentatively call a winner because I think I've got it. Um, I will confirm it with uh, double checking it. But on the surface, we had, um, by switching that around, Dead Norman, you're right. It says from last year. And I get it, Debbie. I don't, Debbie, that wouldn't have made a difference for yours having that one, um, not knowing it or not. But I'm going to go back. And I don't think that the next group, Deb Norman, Deb, you had 10, so that went to change yours, and you were at 14 and a half. You, you still went to beat Anna. Anna got 16 by switching that one. Oh, snowflakes. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to hate me with the snowflakes. Thanks, Joe. I'm G. Maxwell. 
Okay, I did say it was Anna. Anna had 16 by giving her back that point. It gave her 16. All right, so but, oh, snowflakes. You guys are gonna hate me on this one. I didn't realize how many snowflakes. So, so many snowflakes within only stamp sets. So don't look at dies, don't look at embellishments. Just look at stamp sets. How many snowflakes are there in both catalogs? All right, I didn't find a snowflake in this catalog at all. So I'm not even gonna open it up. If somebody else found one, you can let me know, but I didn't find one. Now, I did make a list, and you guys, um, nobody had nearly the amount of snowflakes that I had. Hi, Elaine Reback. Hi, Julie Beersbach. I came up with 235 at a minimum. <laughs> nobody had that at all. I think the highest that somebody had was 100 some, but I honestly don't think anybody had over 200. Um, a lot of people had 36, a lot of people that had like in the 20s and the 30s, but I'll go through and if you guys find some that I don't find, you know, you're more than welcome to like call it out, but I'm going to just go to the pages that I see them on because I made this list last night and I'm like, okay, so I'm not, I'm only going to call it the ones where I see them on and it's not, it doesn't say how many stamps, it says how many snowflakes. It says from within stamp sets, how many snowflakes are there? Um, did you count every dot spec? Yeah, I did because they were trying to look at them like a snowflake, I think. But all in all, not anybody had that many. <laughs> so um, like here's one and then within stamps, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I counted seven for spruced up, all right? Next page is Regal Reindeer. I did count the spots because they are implying to me, they're implying that those are snowflakes. They're falling little dots of snow. So I did count them. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I put 11 for that one. So if you didn't count the little dots and you only counted it, if it was looking like a, like that, then you would have a lot less. But I did because if I'm making a card, they intended for that to look like snowflakes coming down. <laughs> so I know, don't be mad. It's like, this is how the way I would look at it. The next one is on page 19. So, Joyful Flurry. One, two, three, four. Those are four big snowflakes. And then I would count these dots as snowflakes because they're intending for them to look like and be used as snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then there's a 16th one somewhere. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. That's what I got for that one. Um, 21. There's two. 1, 2. Buckle my shoe. Page 22. There is a penguin over here. Mr. Penguin has... I didn't count any of the dots or stars. I didn't count stars either. I only counted dots that were with snowflakes. So like I didn't count a star because a star isn't a snowflake. And like in this case, I counted the dots because it was with a snowflake scent set. Yes, I get exactly, Karen. I love it. <laughs> I can make the rules, right? So this is snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven with the penguin. Now you guys did not like the merriest moments. I did not like it either. Um, all right, Debbie, we'll see you later. All right. Oh, this one's not bad. Um, oh, Marius is on page 23. Oh, I got to go back. Hang on, back here. Ha! Ah! So, this one was a little bit crazy. Um, so, that might be where... Let's say this isn't included. It still puts me at 190-ish, right? So this Marius one is up for grabs. It's like on the fence. Like, what is it? What isn't it? I don't know exactly. Is it filler? Is it, it doesn't really imply snowflakes, but I added it to my list just in case. So like, but either way that there's 45 little things right there. Um, it could be, or it couldn't be neither, either, regardless, I'm still between 190 and 235. Okay. So that one is the questionable one. So page 27 here. Now these to me were snowflakes because they're like, they were, you, they were falling down and they got snowflakes. So I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And that's what I got there. 32, 
is the Christmas lights. This is the one. I know Deanna Sell, you were asking about this one. So these are stars. I didn't count them. So snowflakes though, right? So that's a star. It's like the star to the top of the tree. And these are all like stars on the tree, I guess. So this is a snowflake. These are like snowflakes. Yeah, this one's a hot mess. Like Deanne, this is right exactly what you, you're questioning. Like what would you count? What would you couldn't count? And I didn't have time to look at it, but I, I did count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I put seven for that one. Um, like on the tree, those are stars representing ornaments, I guess. Just like that is the tree topper. So that to me is not a snowflake. It's the tree topper where these were snowflakes and those look like they were snowflakes to me. Those look like stars. Those look like that. So, <laughs> so I had seven. 34. There's one, two, three in the Scotty Dog set. The seal has one, two, three. Page 36. <laughs> yeah, so Cindy, just know when um, when I do a question like this, it's uh, do your best. Honestly, I dismissed the question. I didn't count it for anybody because nobody got near, nobody had over 100 and of them. So, and I definitely think there's over 100. Um, so here's one here. So the Yeti has two actually, one, two. And then I missed page 36 here. These are little snowflakes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I put seven for the window set here. Um, the snow crystal is a snowflake in and of itself. And that is one. And then page 39, there's one, two, three. Now this piece to you. Okay. So this is another one where you, you know, use your discretion. To me, this is snowflakes falling in the sky. Where these, and it, they go all the way to the ground. Where these... It's there's stars in the sky because they stop and it's like the stars are shining down on Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, right? So that's stars in the sky where these are snowflakes. So I did count that or like guesstimate that those were a hundred in of itself. So if you didn't count those, that would be like, because I really, I went and I counted every little dot. I really did. And I came up with about a hundred. So even if I took off that hundred and the other 45, I would still be well over um, up towards a hundred. So, okay, keep going. Um, we're almost done. I promise. <laughs> um, page 44 is a snowman. There's a snowflake right there. Look at that. Hi, Marcine. So there's one snowflake there all bundled up has one, two, three. And then the mice in the back here, the stamp set that is for the host, the mice have snowflakes. I think that those are snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, not the stars. I didn't count the stars. I just count the snowflakes. So all in all, let's just see with some numbers. Just real quick, if we definitely said spruced up the reindeer, the flurry, the two, the penguin. We laughed out Marius moments and we put the lights of seven, the Scotty, the window, the seal, the Yeti, the snow crystal, the trees. Keep out the peace to you and seven. I was still around 90 um, without these two wonky, weird ones that had so many crazinesses going on. Hi, Jody Storman. So I still had that. And I, I really don't think there might have been one and without looking through them all. So like the answers I got, you guys, I'll just tell you. So 67 plus 32. So that was Anna. She had 67 plus 32. So she had 99. So um, she said, if you counted all the little the little million ones on page 32. I had a 36, a 25, 45, 35, um, 14, 37, 23. And when you could, you could add 21 from a something else. 23, 18, um, 38, 15, 13, 24, 2, 21, 27, 21 and 24 totaled like 45, 25, and then 42 and a 30. So all in all, Anna was the one that she really did have 99, which is like within nine away from me, which if I would count her as having it right, then she would still be the winner. So I really think, Anna, you are the winner, <laughs> um, regardless of the snowflake question that hosed even myself up. Um, 
So I would say Anna gets the $10 gift certificate from me for the drawing. Um, Karen, I'll recount yours just to make sure because you were in second place and you would have had 15 and a half. Um, so, um, but very, very close second. Um, so yeah, I hope, <laughs> did I count the snowflakes on page 67? Let me go look at page 67. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember what's on page 67. Oh my goodness, I didn't. Good call, Jean Maxwell. So there's one on page 60. I missed that one. So that would be one more. So 60, um, page 67. You're right. The celebrate tags. Um, you said sell. Did I count the snowflake? I didn't. So there's one more. So all in all, like I would have had 91. Like if I didn't count those redonkulous ones <laughs> with the merriest moments and the peace to you. But I feel like those still were snowflakes in some, well, the merriest one's probably not, but that one with the, the, the Jesus, Mary and Joseph set, that one on the top would have been snowflakes. So, but yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to be fun, guys. It was really meant to not call, cause pain, suffering. It was really meant to give you guys an idea at the catalog. And I tell people, never do something that makes you unhappy or frustrates you. And if doing the scavenger hunt is something that frustrates you, then don't do it, <laughs> right? But I tell you, I had the most scavenger hunts that have ever been turned in. There was over 20 turned in, and I think the last one I had 10. So um, I appreciate everybody giving it a whirl. And I thought to myself while I was grading them, like, do people? I hope people enjoy it because it took me about three hours or two hours to go through and grade them all. And it takes a little bit to come up with the questions. And um, and I don't mean it to make people cry, right? <laughs> so I try to get people to, um, but I probably should up the prize because the amount of um, the work that it goes into it, you guys probably think if you spent hours doing it, like I should make it a little bit, like I should give a first and a second place prize winner, but maybe I'll do that for next time. So whew, I, yeah, Cindy, as long as you had fun, you know, as long as you have fun, that's the main thing. And ever, if you get it to the point where you try your best, like Deanne said, she put her hat in, she gave it a whirl and she did what, you know, she did what she did and you know as long as you enjoy the process and have fun with it and you get to see some things that maybe you didn't see maybe you can't live without <laughs> that's what it's about so all right you guys Whew, that took a little bit longer than i thought i have to go vote you guys it is wisconsin i should say i am in wisconsin and it's our primary election day and i am going over to the fairgrounds and then i'm gonna go vote and then i'm gonna go drop off some embossing paper for Rhonda, she's helping me emboss some stuff for the celebration hoorah rock class that I forgot to give her. So that's what I'm off to. And then it's date night, you guys. So, um, yes. <laughs> yeah. So Philly said it was a great way to see the catalog. Woohoo. Um, yes, it is. You know what? The thing is, it comes down to, it's a lot of work to do a lot of things, but I enjoy doing them, you guys, because I know that you appreciate them. And as long as I know that you appreciate them, I, I love to do the things to, to help you guys be creative and inspire you. Um, and that's what it's all about. So, whew, okay, you guys. So that was your fast down and dirty tip Tuesday with a long, hard, horrible scavenger hunt. Maybe that turned out to be okay. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, lots of sunshine, love and hugs you. I will see you on Thursday night for the monthly card class. I do have kits left in case anybody's interested. Um, also reach out to me if you did want to sign up for celebration, hoorah, rah, ink, paper, scissors, or Abigail Rose. Um, mom and I are kidding them up on Thursday. And so I'd love to know by Thursday to make sure you get them in time. So yeah, it's hot and humid here. So whew, you guys, all right, love you. We'll see you later. Bye.